What's going on my YouTube family? I just wanted to come on here really quick just to make this video um, in relationship to prices that we charge as independent freight dispatchers um, for our services, right? Forgive me for this turning signal. I'm driving right now, but I wanted to make this video quick uh, so that I don't forget. So there's three main ways in which a an independent freight dispatcher is gonna charge for their services. Number one is a base pay, meaning it doesn't matter, you know, what the carrier grosses for that week or what the carrier grosses per load or whatever you are charging a base uh rate right for each truck meaning it might be let's say 200 dollars per truck you you say look you know for our services we'll charge you two dollars per uh truck right that so that's base pay right number two is uh percentage per the amount of trucks so let's just say uh, as an independent freight dispatcher, you might say, okay, for one to five trucks, we, we will charge 7%, right? And then for five to 10 trucks, we'll charge, charge 5%. And then 10 trucks and up, we'll charge 3%, right? Obviously, the percentage goes down as the amount of trucks go up, right? And then the lastly is the percentage per load, right? Per what the uh, truck grosses for that week or whatever they gross uh, per each load, right? Now, I bring all of this up and, and the reason why I bring all this up is to say, as independent freight dispatchers in the current, current climate right now of what's going on in trucking, we should not be charging an arm and a leg for our services. As a matter of a fact, some of you guys might be experience, experiencing trouble in finding carriers and securing carriers because you charge way too much. You should not be charging 8%, 10% uh, right now for your services unless you have an ample amount of services to offer the carrier. And even with that, 10% is pretty outrageous right now, especially with fuel costs. Right now, you should be bordering around anywhere from 4 to 6%. 6% might even be cutting it a little bit too close. But either way, you should be bordering or treading around those uh, percentage amounts, right? Now, uh, again, I just wanted to quickly jump on here and share that information with some of you guys because some of you, again, might be experiencing trouble in finding carriers because you're charging way too much. Now, one of the ways I mentioned um, independent freight dispatchers charge for their services is base pay. Now, let me let me elaborate on that real quick because I just thought about something. Typically, as an independent freight dispatcher, the best way to begin uh, charging for your services is the percentage per load or percentage per gross. That's the best, standard, easiest way to do it. Once you reach a point where your business has grown to 5, 10, 15, 20 trucks, then you might want to implement charging a standard or a base pay, a base rate, I should say. I'm sorry for my camera going all over the place. The reason I say that is because if you start charging um, a base rate for each truck off the bat, you might be missing out, right? If I charge $200 for a truck and I'm just starting off and I come to realize I'm grossing these trucks way more than what I expected, well, then I'm missing out on money. So once you uh, have already created a, some a substantial amount of uh, carriers, maybe let's say anywhere from 10 to 12 or 10 to 15 carriers, now you can uh, take your data and, and, and all the um, uh, amount of revenue that you've generated from these carriers and you say, and you, say you know what, okay, I've generated this uh, amount, right? So on average, I'm getting about X amount, you know, let's say $250 per carrier. So you begin to charge that much per carrier uh, moving forward because you know you're not going to miss out on any money. Does that make sense? Uh, so basically, again, I just wanted to come on here, share that information with you guys really quick. I apologize for the poor quality of this video, but I hope you guys learned something from that. If you haven't already, if this is your first time to my channel, hit that subscribe button uh, below. If you haven't already, like this video, share it with somebody uh, that it might help, and I'll see you guys in the next video.